What exactly are tumor markers, and how do they aid in the fight against cancer? Can they really predict treatment outcomes and monitor cancer progression? Hi everyone, I'm Mohammed Hamama, and welcome back to your ASCP preparation camp. Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of tumor markers. We'll uncover their types, explore their uses, and understand the principles behind their application in clinical practice. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update on your exam prep journey. Also, check out our store, it helps us keep creating great content for you. Let's get into it. What are tumor markers? Tumor markers are substances present in higher amounts in the body fluids or tissues of people with cancer. They can help in various stages of cancer care, including screening, detecting cancer early. Early detection can significantly improve the chances of successful treatment. Diagnosis, identifying the type of cancer. For instance, specific markers can indicate the presence of ovarian, prostate, or liver cancer. Prognosis, predicting treatment outcomes. Markers can help estimate the likely course and outcome of the disease. Therapy selection, choosing the best treatment. Some markers can predict how well a patient will respond to specific treatments, allowing for personalized therapy. Monitoring, tracking treatment effectiveness and recurrence. Regular monitoring of markers can help detect if cancer is returning or how well it is responding to treatment. Real-world application, for example, PSA, prostate-specific antigen, levels are measured to screen for prostate cancer, while CA-125 is used for ovarian cancer. These markers help clinicians decide on the appropriate diagnostic and treatment strategies. Ethical considerations, the use of tumor markers also involves ethical considerations, such as ensuring informed consent, particularly in genetic testing, and addressing the psychological impact of test results on patients. Types of tumor markers Simple molecules, catecholamines, which are used to diagnose and monitor neuroblastoma and pheochromocytoma. Proteins, including hormones like HCG, human chorionic gonadotropin, which is elevated in certain cancers like choriocarcinoma, and enzymes such as alkaline phosphatase, which can indicate bone or liver cancer. Glycoproteins and mucins, such as CA-125, which is a significant marker for ovarian cancer and CA-99 for pancreatic cancer. Oncophytal antigens, like alpha-fetoprotein, AFP, and carcinoembryonic antigen, CEA. AFP is elevated in liver cancer and some germ cell tumors, while CEA is a marker for colorectal and other types of cancer. Emerging markers, newer markers like circulating tumor DNA, ctDNA, and exosomes are being researched for their potential to provide real-time insights into tumor dynamics. Visualization techniques, advanced imaging combined with tumor markers, like PET scans with FDG, fluorodeoxyglucose, enhances the detection and monitoring of cancer. Case studies, studies have shown that combining multiple markers, such as in the Oncotype DX test for breast cancer, provides a more accurate prognosis and aids in therapy decisions. Characteristics of tumor markers Detection and measurement, tumor markers can be found in cells, tissues, or body fluids and are measured using various methods. Chemical methods, such as chromatography and mass spectrometry. Immunologic methods, including ELISA, enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay, and radioimmunoassay. Molecular biological techniques, PCR, polymerase chain reaction, and next-generation sequencing for detecting genetic alterations. Structural variability, their structures and properties vary widely, which influences their stability, detection, and clinical utility. For instance, small molecules like hormones may be more stable in blood samples compared to larger protein markers. Clinical sensitivity and specificity, high sensitivity ensures that most cancer cases are detected, while high specificity minimizes false positives. For example, PSA testing is highly sensitive but may have lower specificity, leading to further diagnostic tests to confirm cancer. Quantitative and qualitative analysis, 
markers can be quantified to reflect tumor burden or analyzed qualitatively to indicate the presence of cancer cells, such as immunohistochemistry used in tissue biopsies. Impact of Technology the development of high-throughput sequencing and advanced bioinformatics has revolutionized the identification and analysis of tumor markers, making it possible to personalize treatment plans based on a patient's unique genetic profile. Cancer Overview Definition Cancer is a group of diseases characterized by uncontrolled cell division, which can lead to the formation of tumors and spread to other parts of the body. Causes Exposure to carcinogens these can be physical, as UV radiation, chemical, as tobacco smoke, or biological, as certain viruses like HPV. Genetic predisposition, inherited mutations in genes such as BRCA1 and BRCA2 can increase the risk of breast and ovarian cancers. Lifestyle factors, poor nutrition, lack of physical activity, and obesity are linked to increased cancer risk. Viral infections, Viruses like hepatitis B and C are associated with liver cancer, and HPV is linked to cervical cancer. Characteristics Cancer cells exhibit uncontrolled growth, invasion into surrounding tissues, and the ability to metastasize, or spread, to distant sites. This behavior is driven by genetic mutations and alterations in cellular pathways. Impact of cancer Cancer is a leading cause of death worldwide. Early detection through screening and advances in treatment have significantly improved survival rates. For instance, the five-year survival rate for localized breast cancer is over 90%. Statistical trends, while cancer remains a major health challenge, mortality rates have declined due to better screening, early detection, and advancements in treatment. Public health initiatives focusing on lifestyle changes and vaccination programs, as HPV vaccine, also contribute to reducing cancer incidence. Socioeconomic factors, access to healthcare, socioeconomic status, and educational background can influence cancer outcomes. Addressing these disparities is crucial for improving cancer care globally. Historical background of tumor markers. Early discoveries. 1847, Bence Jones protein identified, marking the first known tumor marker. 20th century, recognition of hormones and enzymes associated with malignancy, expanding the understanding of tumor markers. Analytical advances. 1960s, development of radioimmunoassay, revolutionizing the clinical use of tumor markers. 1980s, introduction of monoclonal antibody technology, leading to more specific and sensitive assays. 1990s, Use of non-isotopic labels for immunoassays, improving safety and efficiency. Molecular genetics. Advancements in molecular genetics have significantly enhanced the detection and understanding of tumor markers. Techniques like fluorescence in situ hybridization, fish, and next-generation sequencing allow for detailed genetic analysis of tumors. Current trends. The integration of multiomics approaches, combining genomics, proteomics, and metabolomics, is providing comprehensive insights into cancer biology in improving the identification of novel tumor markers. Ethical considerations, the history of tumor marker research also highlights the importance of ethical considerations, including patient consent, data privacy, and the potential implications of genetic information. General principles and guidelines for tumor markers. Purpose, Tumor markers increase or decrease the clinical suspicion of cancer-related events, aiding in diagnosis, monitoring, and treatment planning. They help make or confirm a cancer diagnosis, monitor treatment effectiveness, estimate prognosis, and predict therapy success. Optimal use, careful consideration and an evidence-based approach are essential for their effective use. Tumor markers should be measured only when the results are likely to improve patient outcomes. Guidelines, National Comprehensive Cancer Network, NCCN, and European Group on Tumor Markers, EGTM, provide detailed guidelines on their appropriate use. These guidelines help standardize the use of tumor markers in clinical practice, ensuring consistency and reliability. Validation of Tumor Markers Steps Sample Collection and Processing 
Analytical validation. Clinical validation. Demonstration of clinical value. Regulatory approval. Post-market evaluation. Challenges. Ensuring the reliability and clinical utility of new tumor markers is crucial for their adoption into routine clinical practice. This involves rigorous validation processes and ongoing assessment. Evidence-based medicine, the use of tumor markers should be guided by robust clinical evidence, including randomized controlled trials and systematic reviews, to ensure they provide real benefits to patients. Clinical utility, markers should demonstrate clear clinical utility, such as improving diagnostic accuracy, guiding treatment decisions, or enhancing patient monitoring. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and give this video a big thumbs up. Your support means the world to us. Remember to ask for ASCP short notes. Got questions? Drop them in the comments below, we love hearing from you. Oh, and here's a little secret, check out our store for your next study outfit. Not only will you look great, but you'll also be helping us create more content like this. Win-win, right? See you next time, bye.